This is Brad from Argali, and I'm gonna show you how to properly roll your brand new stove pipe as well as burn in your stove before you head into the field. Okay, so first thing you wanna do when you get one of our Skyline TI stoves is you're gonna get two pieces that come with your package. You're gonna get a carrying case for your stove pipe and your stove. Uh, what you want to do is open up the stove pipe ca uh, carrying case and grab out your stove pipe rings right here. You're going to get one stove pipe ring per foot of stove uh, that you have. So in here we have a six foot uh, stove pipe which is compatible with our Absaroka tent. And I'm going to pull it out here and I've got Marshall here to help me do this. And there's a really important reason why you want to do this before you want to roll your stove pipe with a friend or with some object that can help you make sure you get this stovepipe roll done correctly. And then you're gonna burn it in on your stove because once you fire form this stovepipe, um, it will roll back uh, into itself really easily. So if you do this right the first time, uh, assemble it really carefully, put a fire, build a fire in your stove at home before you go out to the field, fire form your stovepipe, it's gonna last you a long time and last for a number of years. If you don't do this properly, you're gonna regret it. So this is worth doing, it's worth taking the time to do. So the key here is to get one or two um, people and we're gonna uh, roll it on the, uh, on the long end here, or the short end, depending on how you like to describe it. And what we're doing here is we're gonna try and keep all the, keep the stove pipe from buckling as we do this, okay? So we're just gonna go kind of slow and kind of push it over and this one's pretty simple if you do it right it's really not that hard so Marshall I'll grab you want to grab one for your end I'll grab one for my end and you're just going to start sliding now be careful too not to cut yourself Marshall's demonstrating what it's like to uh, do this the right way with gloves on because this sharp edge of this stovepipe can't cut you. And I'm living dangerously over here. And if you do see any buckles start to form, just kind of gently pop them out. And we'll just kind of slide these things down until we get them all kind of evenly, evenly spaced out on the stove pipe. And again, you can see like there's a little buckle right here. I'm just gonna kind of gently pop that out. And so now we've got, uh, our stove pipe is rolled up. We've got our stove pipe rings on. They're roughly evenly spaced out here. We don't have any kinks or buckles in our stovepipe. If you were to come look at this, you wouldn't see any. There's one right there. Never mind, I lied. We had one small one. But other than that, it's really smooth. And so the next step, if you're gonna uh, burn in your stove, is you're gonna assemble your stove box. And we have step-by-step -step instructions on our website for how to do this. Um, it's really simple. Uh, I'm gonna pitch a tent, uh, set it up in my backyard or a field, somewhere where you can have a fire I'm gonna stick the stove pipe through my tent, put it on top of the connector piece here, and I'm gonna burn a fire in. And you're gonna to wanna to hold that fire, get that fire ripping hot. You don't have to have a long fire, 10 minutes, but just stoke that thing until it gets hot. Make sure your stove pipe gets nice and hot, and that's it. And that way when your stove cools, you take this apart, put it back in your stove case. The next time you go to roll this thing back together, it's gonna to go back together a lot easier and won't wanna buckle and crumple on you. And the reason you want to do that too is if you don't take your time to do this and you get little kinks in your stovepipe that can compromise the integrity of your stovepipe. So if, over time what that will do is you'll make your stovepipe more prone to collapsing. So imagine you get like a high wind situation, it can actually fold your stovepipe flat uh, if you don't take care of it. But super easy to do, take the time to do it. That's how you roll uh, the stovepipe for our Skyline TI titanium wood stove.